Only 2% of the world's rainforests have been explored and their species identified. Think about that. 3,000 cancer-fighting drugs coming from just 2% of the rainforests. That leaves 98% of our rainforests unexplored and all of the treasures and medicinal properties they may have yet undiscovered. So what happens if big business comes in and chops down all those trees? We may never find the cure for breast cancer. Why? Because somebody had to line their pockets with a few dollars when they easily could have planted trees of their own making to chop down their cell. Why use a resource that is literally thousands of years old and home to millions of undiscovered species simply for a piece of wood? Does it make sense to you? It doesn't make sense to me. There are over 150,000 people per year diagnosed with leukemia and lymphoma, just two specific forms of cancer. And Ben Christine, again, came from the periwinkle in South America, is the prominent drug in treating those two types of cancer. One drug, 150,000 people a year. You do the math, you see what kind of impact this deforestation is causing. Not only to the people who live in Indonesia, and South America, and the other places where the rainforests are predominant, but to us, right here in the United States. I know that you know someone who's been affected by cancer. I'm positive, because cancer is rampant in the United States and the world today. Imagine if that one person, or two people, or 10 people that you know, didn't get the drug they needed to save their lives because of the truth. One truth that was chopped down for the sake of making a piece of it. What's the price of someone's life? Make a difference. Do something. Is that your 230? Keep going. Just do you, yeah, just... Uh, do the close.